So by now you should have got the logic of what we have been for the counterpart, right? So it's a simple observation. When it is two one here, here you have two one. When it is one two, one two. That's it. So that part you can write it as similarly. F one to vector will be equal to change as R one to here, R one to here. You're done. Okay. So that part I'm leaving it here. Right. Shall I proceed to the next part? Yes, sir. Now comes an important question. So we understood that when you have two charges, two point charges, they are going to interact. See, for example, if you have charges itself, they will interact. That's a different story. But if you have two point charges, it is easy for you to calculate the level of interaction in terms of force, right? But it is not necessary that whenever you are dealing, you need to deal only with two charges in the region. What if it processes them, right? Which we can call it as a multiple charge system or an n particle system, whatever it is. Right, when you have these multiple charges, right, when you have the multiple charges, something like this, for instance, this is one, two, three. Let me call this as Q1, Q2, and Q3, for instance. Okay. Now, I'm interested to calculate what is the force experienced by Q3 due to the remaining part, that is Q1 and Q2. Right. So, what will happen? You tell me logically. You saw the orientation also. First of all, we need to find how the forces are individually. So, due to the first charge, we know that the force is going to act along the line joining both the charges. So, what is this going to be? If I call this as 1, 2, and 3, then this is going to be F. 3, 1. Very good. What about this force F32, right? F31 is acting in this direction, F32 in this direction. So we need to find the resultant of these two. That will give me the answer for the force experienced by Q3 due to Q1 and Q2. Like this, it is not necessary you need to have any three charges. We, it can go to four also. Right? It can go to five, six, anything. Right? But how do you calculate? By finding the resultant. The resultant is obtained by how do you add that? Okay, that is parallelogram when you have two vectors, but if you have three, for example, if it was a let me extend this, for example, I had a fourth charge here, Q4, right? Then what that happen? This would have been F3, 3, 4. Now, what do you do? You will find the resultant of these two again. The resultant of these two will take, right? We can do it like that, but we take a lot of time. So, how is the resultant formed? It is very simple by adding all these individual forces vectorially. So, if you do the vector sum of all these forces, that will give you the resultant of the force experienced by Q3 due to the remaining part of the system. Am I clear? And this kind of an operation is given a name called as. Principle of superposition. So, what does this principle of superposition say? When will you apply this? When will you know that in this problem I need to apply principle of superposition? In this problem, it is enough if I apply Coulomb's law. When will you know? So, when you have two charges, you will stop with Coulomb's law. When you have more than two charges, you need to go with principle of superposition. When you have less than two charges, there is no question of force effect. Why? Because for you to apply Coulomb's law, the minimum number of charges that are required are. Am I clear? So, what does it state? When there are more than two charges, comma, force experienced by one charge. Due to, due to whom? Due to the remaining system. Due to the charges in the remaining system. Then, then, what is given? 
the resultant is given as then the resultant is given as the vector sum of the individual forces in the system. So, can I write it mathematically in this way? If R, where FR is the resultant, is equal to F31 plus F32 plus F34. Am I right? There is a mistake corrected. I know where you are concentrated. Concentrate on the basic. What did I say? I told it is a vector, but I wrote it in the scalar form. If you forget this arrow mark, it's wrong. Clear? So this is the answer for the solution. Yeah.